All right, if you're starting to do some of your Christmas shopping, you may be tempted to buy some of those great gadgets you see advertised on infomercials. But before you place an order, we wanted to put some of those products to the test. So our technology contributor, Becky Worley, tried out four of these nifty products, and she will join us and tell us what she found out. You're a brave woman to yeah, do this. Yeah, I was skeptical, and there were some pluses, some minuses. Do you buy some of these products as well? Uh, I get tempted. I, yeah. Oh, come on. I, Just I'm, tempted? You don't pull the trigger? Well, when I go to the website, and then I confirm it on uh, the Internet, then, of course, I've done my research. Oh, of course you have. Of course, you're one of those people. <laughs> right. Let's start with the space bag, because we've seen this uh, a lot of times. So let's see the infomercial for this product. With the new vacuum seal space saver tote from Space Bag, I can easily store all this bedding in one single tote. There's always like a little, a little tune that gets I you know. going like that. They're so enthusiastic. So is it a goodbye? <laughs> well, I was actually impressed with the space bag. I tried this at home. And you know, the scenario is you got a bunch of bulky blankets and you got stuff you just can't fit under the bed. So you put it in the space bag, you zip it up with this little Ziploc closure, you grab your vacuum hose, and it doesn't have to be a perfect seal, but you put it on this one-way valve, uh -huh. and it sucks the air right out of it. And sure enough, it is a fraction of the size it used to be, and it fits in the spaces where it used to not go into. So basically, this is this? This became this. I no. mean, it's Look really much more narrow. It's a smaller footprint overall. These things work, and mm -hmm. I was actually very impressed. Um, the only downside is this Ziploc closure is a little bit schlocky. Um, uh, it's a little bit who? Schlocky, schlocky. that's the technical okay. term. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to get this to guide. So uh -huh. overall, very impressed. Seven bags for $19.99, my grade, a B plus. A B plus? Yes. Not bad. Does anybody have this in the audience? Anybody? Did yeah. It, yeah. Have a, a and our floor director has one. <laughs> nice to know. Okay, you have to have a little handy kitchen gadget oh, for the infomercial. Of course. All right, let's take a look at this little information. The one-touch can opener is totally automatic. Just place it on the can, press the button, and your can opens in seconds. Amazing. Amazing? It's totally automatic. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, you know, this, actually, it kind of was amazing. Uh, yeah. My first question was, do I need a one-touch can opener? But I, I tried to create a scenario. So let's say I'm making the hollandaise sauce. I can't stop stirring, or else it'll get all bulky. So you just put this thing on top of the can, press the button, it does its thing up there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Right? right? And presto, changeo, in mere seconds, it takes the top off. Now, the amazing thing is, it really just takes one touch. Mm -hmm. uh, my grade on the one touch can opener, right. I was pretty impressed. A minus. A minus. Yeah. So we have a B plus and an A minus. Yes. All right, we have dogs. I have yes. a little Jack Russell. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm always looking for a product to help with the shedding. And this says that can end the shedding. The Shed Ender. Take a look. The Shed Ender removes that shedding hair all at once before it ends up all over you and all over your house. And pets really enjoy it. Oh, they, yeah, it looks like you're having a great time. Really So does it work? It. Does it work? Uh, kind of. Oh. Basically, when I tried this at home, I tried it on my dog. Now, they're long-haired dogs, so the first thing I noticed, they didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> it pulled on their hair. They made those little ooh, ooh oh, noises. No, you no, feel like no. the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah. And the second thing I noticed is that it took for ever. There are very fine teeth on this comb. Mm. And what you'll see is that it's very difficult to get actually into the into the bottom base that. of the roots. Um, I really think that this is not a good investment if you have a long-haired dog. If you have a short-haired dog right. or a cat, maybe. But I am sad to say I had to give it oh. the C minus. So the lowest grade so far. Ah, yes, I don't know, yes. but I'm still going to try that out. Yeah, you can yeah. try that out. All right, Diane was talking about this pillow. Right, the memory pillow. Now, what they promise in the infomercial is that it improves your alignment of your spine as you sleep. Mm -hmm. And it's memory foam, meaning that it, it, it kind of takes your shape as you push into it. Right, but the first thing I noticed is funky smell. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't want that up around your nose and your head. You're right? burying your head in this thing yeah. for eight hours a night. You don't want it to be even remotely funky. Mm -hmm. so. um, now, when we did speak with the manufacturers, they said that they put a disclaimer into the packaging saying, hey, you know, that passes after about a month. Okay. So, if you can um, hang in there. But does it work, though? Does well, it do what it claims to do? The problem is this. As you saw in some of that video from me testing it, is it's not as comfortable as you'd like it to be. It's contoured so that if you're sleeping on your back, low side forward. 
Mm -hmm. But then, if you want to sleep on your side, you got to swap it and go high side forward. Mm. You're sleeping. So what's the grade, Becky? You're supposed to swap this thing? Well, I don't the, think so. What's the grade? D. Oh. You yeah. gave Diane Sawyer a D. Oh, but she oh. won't. No, don't tell her. Don't no. tell her. <laughs> so D, C plus, but so these two products, good. Yep. This one, okay. Yep. And this one, not so much. And I should mention with the Shed Ender, they told us they are going to make a bigger one for bigger dogs. Okay. So. Good to hear that. Right. All right, Becky. Thanks so much.